Kitchen Planning Quiz, Part 1. You will now see five questions relating to planning your kitchen with DIY kitchens. All the questions are multiple choice and are designed to help you with different aspects of kitchen planning. You will get 20 seconds to answer each question and don't worry if you guess wrong, as the correct answer is shown after each question. Let's begin! Question 1. What size corner post do we recommend for our corner base units? Is it A. 30 by 30 mm, B. 50 by 50 mm or C. 70 by 70 mm? Time's up. The correct answer for question 1 was a C. 70 by 70 mm. An adequate sized corner post is essential so that when the door is opened, the handle will not collide with the approaching door. Question 2. When creating an island, what is the minimum size walkway that we recommend between the island and the opposite units? Is it A. 1 meter, B. 1.5 meters, or C. 2 meters? Time's up. The correct answer for question 2 was A, 1 meter. This will allow doors to open and still give you enough space to walk by. Question 3. Which size wall units are used with our 1970mm high, tall units? Is it A, 575mm high, B, 720 mm high or C 900 mm high Time's up The correct answer for question 3 was B 720 mm high This ensures that the recommended gap of 500 mm is created between the top of the worktop and the bottom of the wall units Question 4 what size service void is required to the side of our standard corner base units? Is it A. 110 mm, B. 120 mm, or C. 130 mm? Time's up. The correct answer for question 4 was a C. 130 mm. The 130 mm side service void pushes the unit out enough to allow space for the 70mm by 70mm corner post. Question 5. True or false? Is an in-frame integrated appliance door, a one-piece door with the frame built into it? Time's up. The correct answer for question 5 was true. A one-piece door is required to work on the front of integrated appliances. Part 1 complete. How did you do?